on the inside. And, but that jab was a tremendous straight left hand, was it not, Kenny? I mean, it really rocked them. Uh, Certainly was. And Ariola told us yesterday, I can't lose bad, I'll retire. Ariola yeah. victorious. Yeah, he started early with the left jab, and uh, that left jab was good. When Ariola throws that left jab, he steps into it hard. There's a, his whole, there it is. We'll his see. whole Ooh. body's coming with that. Not only that, you see him, he turns his knuckles over on that, just like you would a right hand. And let me tell you something. That was as stiff a jab as you can get hit with. Man. And here we go. Here's a knockdown. Now, Augustine trying to hang on. And his arm got wrapped around the ropes. That didn't help him much either, you know, because he was, you know, kind of vulnerable there. But um, Chris Ariola on the undercard, the opening um, fight for the um, pay-per-view undercard of Spence Garcia here right now, 9.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, March the 16th, uh, 2019. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. You know, uh, if you watch me for a long time, Chris Ariola has been always one of my favorite heavyweights, even though, you know, he's let us wait. Always, you know, not always, but a good issue at a time. Um, get in the way. Still entertaining on the microphone, entertaining in the ring. And it's glad I'm glad to see him after fighting in a couple of dark matches after losing, well, one dark match after losing to um Deontay Wilder, that you know he's getting another um um uh, big push. He's now 38, 5 and 1 with 33 KOs. Let's listen in. Hopefully he gets a post-fight interview. And I think that we can possibly see him versus Adam Kwanowski or Charles Martin next. Don't be surprised, but I, I would think that, mm, I don't know. I don't know. What he do? Would it be? See, they're trying to rebuild his career. And it's going to be up to him if he wants to. victorious goes to 38 Five and one. Back to the ring. Heidi Andro. Thank you very much. Well, Chris, Joe Goosen just said ringside. He looks like he is back. We have never seen him look yeah. so good. You told me before this fight and all the guys that if you didn't win this fight, you would be retiring. Not only if I didn't win, if I didn't look good. You know, Kid Creole, hungry man, hungry kid. He came out here making a name for himself using me. And it wasn't going to happen. I came out here because I'm still ahead to be reckoned with. I'm, I'm title chasing, not check chasing. And let's get get it, man. I lose. Well, then he's going to have to go after Kwanowski, who's well, rated very high by the WBC. Did you expect him to be a flopper and go down as many times as he did? Um, You know what? As soon as I touched him a couple times, I, I see I seen in his eyes that he was hurt. But um, I just kept, I kept my composure. I tried to, you know, just stay calm and make it, and it was going to come. And it showed. This division is wide open, and you told me, quote, it's fun. Who do you want next? I love fighting, man. I love it. You know, as I, like I said, we both were trying to beat the crap out of each other, and after that, the respect, hug, you know what? I love what I do. I'm blessed to be a fighter. Well, congratulations on an amazing win here in front of this amazing crowd. Kenny, we'll send it back All to you. All for the fans. You know, um... I forgot to mention Luis Ortiz and Joe Joyce. Now, Luis Ortiz, now, um, earlier, the fight before this, uh, Prince Charles Martin had defeated a fighter by the name of Gregory Corbin. So, Charles Martin and Chris Ariola are now back in the mix of the lower level um, 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 heavyweights in regards to the lower end of the rankings. Not saying that they're lower level, you know, heavyweights, but, you know, in fans' eyes, they kind of are. Um, here's a little, well, I can't really show you a little bit of highlights. Sometimes they, you know, get a little weird with this, even though they give the shit out free on, um, social media. And I've been working for free for a good 86 days or so. Wait a minute. Let me listen in. Power, and he sensed the win, and he just threw a combination. Oh, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, Prince Charles Martin had one earlier. Now, here is the, uh, the names of the 100 in the heavyweight fighters. That my bad. I'm trying to look at these graphics too. The heavyweight fighters that they have now, they have Loser Tees over there. They have Joe Joyce over there, who is that new WBA gold belt. Adam Konoski, as we talked about, some of our fighters that will that are available. Um, and then of course you know Charles Martin and um, Chris Ariola. So all those guys, they can either and Adam Konoski, they can fight each other or you know, dance around a little bit more and, and build themselves back up, especially Charles Martin and uh, Chris Ariola. But something telling me that one of those guys are going to likely be in there with either a Luis Ortiz, you know, or Adam Kwanowski. Joe Joyce, you know, I'm, I'm really wondering what they're going to do with him. They got uh, Errol Spence on here now. Shit's about to get lit.
motherfucking show on Porter show that look like a fucking leprechaun. No bullshit. He's a funny dude. But all right, y'all. Um, shout out to Chris Ariola on T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy left. Oh, and this guy right here, he was flopping. And why would he show up with that haircut? You know, what was going on with that? Who said, you got you got, you got, got to see the haircut that he had. He had like this business up here, but then it was like some craziness in the back. I don't know what's going on with this guy. He fought Humberto Soto. That's not the same Humberto Soto. I'm Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy Live with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. In their prime in, in quite a while. It's been nearly 20 years since.